Hello ladies and welcome back. So I am super excited to bring you today's video. You asked for a tour of my closet and I am going to deliver that today. So if you are landing on my channel for the first time, my name is Teresa and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and graceful. So if that is something you are interested in, please consider subscribing to the channel. So without further ado, Let's jump straight into it. So this is the entrance to our closet and as you enter, I wanted to first talk about the reasoning behind this design and the first thing I want to do is just pop a picture up here if I can get one of the young lady that helped me design this closet and she was absolutely amazing and the reason I designed the closet this way was because I had to consider exactly what the needs were for my husband and I so we are sort of minimalist and we like to have the things in front of us that we wear the most often and that we're going to get a lot of use out of. My designer captured everything that I wanted in this closet. So now let's go on in. And I wanna just show you this side over here on the left is my husband's side. And what we did over here was he's got all of the wooden hangers. As you can see, they are very, very masculine. So most of everything at the top on my husband's side, these are all of his dress shirts and work shirts and his um, blazers and suit jackets. And down here are his dress slacks. And as you can see again, we've used all of the dark wood hangers for him. And I think it just looks absolutely beautiful to use the wood hangers because they are more masculine. And right here is his tie rack. And I actually just bought these things from Target. Um, and they work really well for organizing your ties and scarves and things like that. But this side is where my husband keeps his suit ties. And then over here, these are his shelves. So that's sort of a travel bag up there where we keep some travel things in. My husband's side, he's got cubbies that go from floor to ceilings. And that way I don't have to worry about getting up there to dust because we did take the shelves all the way up to the ceiling. When I pull back Up there is my husband's travel suitcase, and we use the company called Away. And if you guys have not used that luggage, they are absolutely amazing. This is the best travel luggage that I have ever owned. And then I'm gonna switch you guys around because the rest of the closet, of course, belongs to me. So that's, I'll give you another look at the side that my husband uses. Oh, and I forgot to share share with you guys, down here he keeps his dress shoes. So he's got a couple of nice pair of Italian handmade dress shoes there. So that's his side. And now, as I turn the corner, this starts the end where my things are. 
So we're going to start right here with my shoe rack. And right here, these are one of my favorite pair of shoes. They are by a company called Vivaya. These shoes are so comfortable. They are amazing. And they are really beautiful to wear with linen pants and even white jeans, but they are the most comfortable shoes that I own. And they look really elegant when you wear them. So I really love this pair of shoes. So on the top shelf, I've put my loafers. And you guys, I do have some more shoes, but what I ended up doing was only putting the things on this shelf that I reach for all the time. And the other shoes I have in another closet. But these shoes are by a company called Vivaya, and they are my most comfortable shoes. They are beautiful. You can wash them with a towel. Um, they do have shoes that you can actually put into the washing machine, but I thought these were just beautiful. They are great to wear with linen pants. And then the second pair of loafers that I own are by Franco Sarto. And these loafers I really love. I love the way the heel, sort of a thick heel on them, and then in the back, they have this gold detail. I don't think the camera does it justice, but these are by Franco Sarto. And I have several pair of shoes by Franco Sarto because not only are they comfortable, but they're really stylish. This pair of loafers is just a pair I picked up from Macy's. And I just like the gold chain on them and also the color of them to sort of give a pair of black pants or gray pants a little bit of pop with these loafers right here and these are just charter club so not a very expensive pair of loafers at all but I really did like them now these two here those were an investment I really love these shoes here they were pricey but sometimes you have to pay for quality. Less is more, in my opinion. You get better quality, but have fewer items and wear them more frequently so that you get your costs per wear. So you're not gonna see a whole lot of shoes in this closet or clothing because again, I have really minimized down to very, very good well-made clothing and shoes that I absolutely love and that I intend to wear frequently. So down here, you guys, this is my sandal shelf. And you guys have seen these sandals right here. These are those Calvin Klein sandals that I showed you in one of my previous videos. These heels right here, I got married in. And I love these. They are just stunning. And I will show you guys the dress that I actually put with these. My husband bought me a black dress and I love the way it looks with these shoes. Maybe I'll style them in a video with the black dress that my husband bought me. So sound off in the comments down below if you want me to style these red heels. And I will certainly do that for you guys. These are a pair of the black chunky heel shoes. Again, they're by Franco Sarto. Their Franco Sarto shoes, for some reason, are just really comfortable and they last a really long time. And these are leather. They have sort of a uh, maybe a crocodile kind of look on the shoe. And I think they're just beautiful. I got these in Italy and these are 100% leather. And they are the most comfortable and soft sandals that I own. And so they're really good to travel in, really good to wear to the airport, or even just walking around in. I think they are just amazing. And then when I go down to this shelf, this shelf contains the boots 
that I wear the most often, except for that pair. Those are not boots. But you guys have seen these. I bought these shoes in Italy, and I just love them. They are beautiful. They're very comfortable. And these were handmade, and we bought them when we were in Rome. The name of the company is Cudetta. It's a family-owned business out of Florence, Italy. And the shoes are hand-stitched from the bottom up to the leather. And they are just amazing to walk around in. And they just look very classy when you wear them with things. You can wear them with pretty much anything. These black boots right here, they're kind of a chunky black boot. I got these in Italy in 2015 and they are good to walk in as well. And one thing I wanted to say about these is that when I'm in Italy, I always shop for shoes because I know that when they design shoes to walk on cobblestones, that they're going to be really, really comfortable. And so I did get these in 2015 and I just love them and the shoes last a very long time they're a hundred percent leather and I just love them these boots right here are suede and they are ankle high boots and I think they look really really classy if worn with like a midi length skirt or something like that they look really classy and I believe I picked this up these up from DSW and the brand on these is Corso Como but they are really comfortable and very beautiful and then I love these shoes right here to me these these are so elegant and classy I have had these shoes probably 15 years and this is another brand of shoe by Franco Sarto and you can see the sort of crocodile on the leather. I think that is so elegant and so classy. And then the end is suede, but I love this Mary Jane type of shoe. And they just look really elegant when put with the right outfit. And then down here, I have a couple more pair of boots that I do wear very often. These are also Italian boots, but I did not get these in Italy. I think I bought these from a store called Foxes here in Atlanta. But they are 100% leather. They're just really comfortable. I bought these because of the comfort and I think they look very stylish when you wear them with blue jeans. I think this is actually a Spanish company and it's called Flex, but they are really comfortable and they look very classy. I wear these mostly in the winter time with blue jeans or some wool pants or something very warm. And then over here are my Uggs. So these boots only get pulled out if it's really, really cold. And where I live, we do not have really cold weather, but I do love these Ugg boots. They are also leather, but they unfortunately do not get worn very often because of the climate that I live in. But they're there if I ever need them. And now we're gonna take a look at my side of the closet so I want to come back here and start over here right here is where my side begins I've got some jackets right here I'm always gonna have my leather jacket hanging because I use this a lot and again ladies what I put in this closet are the things that I always pull so I don't have things in here that I'm not going to wear and a lot of the things that I felt like I was not going to wear I donated them to Goodwill but these are the things that I'm going to wear so then here is um, this right here is a sweater that I love you got to have a cream colored sweater in your wardrobe and mostly what I have ladies are my staples you have to have your staples in your wardrobe and that way you can put things together a lot easily so these are things that i pull in the winter time and in the fall 
which would be my leather jacket, this cream colored sweater, and this is my trench coat, but this one hits right at the waistline. And it's beautiful. I do love this trench coat. And the other jacket I have is like a windbreaker. And you just kind of pop this one on. This one has print. I don't do a lot of prints, but I think this one looks really good with white jeans or white pants of some sort because it is a very floral color. And I think it's really cute. And I think this one is, yeah, this is Tommy Hilfiger. But again, you can't tell because it's just floral. So there's no logos or anything like that except for that little red one but you would have to look really really hard to find that but I think this is a great little jacket it's got a hood on the back and then I have a summer sweater I love light blue and I think it looks really good with my complexion I usually take this with me to the movies and it doesn't button or anything but it just gives you a little bit of warmth if you're at the movies. I've got my satin skirt, another skirt, and then these are all of my dresses that I wanted to put in here that I'm going to be wearing most often. This dress right here, I really love it. I think you guys have seen the top of this in one of my videos. Let me take it down yeah I think you guys have seen this one but it is beautiful and it looks really good on it is a midi length dress and it is for the spring and for the summer and I wanted you wanted to show you guys the dress that my husband actually picked out for me this one is from Ann Taylor and this is the one my husband bought me this is my valet hook right here. I had that installed because I can hang anything right there and just steam it if I need to just get a little bit more press in my clothing. But this is the dress. I couldn't believe my husband picked this out, but I love it. But this is Ann Taylor and I do wear this on date night and I'll show you why that looks so good with this, with these shoes. So this is the combo that I would wear with that dress. These red shoes right here. This dress also has pockets, which I love too. I forgot about that. It has pockets. But it just, you know, the silhouette of this dress is just amazing. I just love it. And look at the bottom of this dress, how it's cut. It is just stunning. So again, let me know if you guys would like me to style that. That is the valet hook right there. You don't have to leave the hook out. You can push it in and then when you need it, you can pull it out. I think that's the coolest thing. Here are my scarves. So I knew that I would need that valet hook because I am always looking for things, but I love to have my scarves where I can find them and to be able to see what I've got and sort of pair it with my outfit. I do have more scarves than this, but they are more like my winter scarves that I tie around my neck when I'm putting my coat on to go out. So these are the ones I would use more dressy or even around my ponytail or things like that. So those are my scarves. One thing you guys will notice about my wardrobe is my wardrobe is very monochromatic. So you're going to see a lot of creams, a lot of blacks, very solid colors and pastels. And those are the colors that I gravitate towards. I rarely, rarely do a lot of bold color. I just gravitate towards the whites, the pastels, the cream. So these are my short sleeve shirts and so I've got lots of linen in my closet. 
your staples are going to be a button down shirt you've got to have a button down shirt this is just a basic button down shirt here that I got from the Gap so you got to have a white button down shirt in your wardrobe and then over here I've got some of my more dressier shirts my silk shirt from Lily Silk and this shirt right here I got this one from Fox's those are my white shirts up here is my travel suitcase so I got myself white my husband has the tannish color and right up there is my travel backpack so that's why the design works so beautifully for what I needed because I got to put away everything that I wanted to put away and to be able to easily find it because we do travel very often and then down here are all of my pants and one thing you guys will notice is I chose these black velvet hangers and I think they look really really elegant so in this section I've got my jeans I've got some linen style pants I got these these linen pants from Amazon and Amazon has a new brand called the drop and these linen pants are really beautiful but I will show them to you guys in maybe a future video I've got some of my dressier style pants here this is another pair of pants that my husband picked out for me and I've had these since 2012 I believe my husband bought these for me in Asheville North Carolina and those are really cute with a turtleneck sweater or some sort of contoured sweater and then these are all my black pants and my black jeans when you turn this way these are my shelves where I display my handbags and I only had these particular shelves I could have made them smaller but I decided to make the shelves wider because I just think it looks a lot better and I only wanted to display let me move back a little bit I want only wanted to display the bags that I use all the time so I didn't want to just put a lot of purses up there and in, in fact I don't even own a lot of purses but I do have some more handbags and some more purses that I don't reach for very often that's my Teddy Blake handbag this is the Kim Croco up here is my little guitar bag that I got from Fox's and this is a basket bag I got from Guess and this is my beautiful little black handbag I got from Radley London if you guys haven't checked them out please do they have some really beautiful black bags and I love their little doggy logo on there it just looks beautiful and this one is like a crocodile style sort of like the the one here from Teddy Blake the Kim Croco but this is in black and then down here is this leather handbag that I bought from Italy and I do love the hardware on this one the hardware on the Italian bags are just solid I mean they are just extremely solid and it has the Italian flag on the interior and the interior is a like a suede leather so I do love this and I just love the fact that it is you know the hardware on it is so well made and then right here this is a jewelry box given to me by my mother-in-law and I just love it this one is from Sorrento from Italy I don't have anything in it but I just keep it because it is just such a beautiful gift and I really love it all the way from Sorrento Italy and then over here are my two favorite fragrances now I do have other perfumes I know sometimes you watch these videos where some people have hundreds of fragrances sitting around 
but the fragrances do go bad and I don't necessarily think that that is a good idea because if you are using fragrances that is a year old they may not be good to put on your skin anymore and also the fragrance may not be the same when you keep them for too long so I choose to only work with two fragrances at a time and this one I think I talked about before this one is J'adore by Dior this one is called Elwood and it is white bergamot I love this fragrance I absolutely love it I got that from Abercrombie and Fitch so these are the two fragrances I reach for every single day so the J'adore I would wear on a date night and then this one is more like my everyday perfume, the Elwood. It just gives you that fresh moment when you walk into a room. When you open this drawer, this is my jewelry drawer. I have, most of my jewelry is from Monica Venator and Missima. I do keep these little pouches because when we travel, I can actually put my earrings and a necklace in there in the evening when I take it off but I don't have a whole lot of jewelry. I went very basic, very minimal, but high quality. So these are the things that I wear most often. That's the pearl necklace that my mother-in-law gave me. It is over a hundred years old. I do have my gold earrings I wear all the time. Some pearl earrings, my gold rings from Missima. And this pearl bracelet here, I love. that. This I got from Miss Sima too. That's beautiful. And then I've got a gold bracelet that I put with that. This is silver. These are some silver earrings. There's a silver necklace right here that I typically wear with those earrings. And this is my paper clip necklace that I believe I got this from Ana Luisa. And then over here, I love this necklace right here. I got this from Missima and my favorite pearl necklace of all time. This is 18 karat gold and this was a anniversary gift from my husband and I love this Baroque style pearl. That is my most beautiful necklace. So that's the jewelry that I gravitate to all the time. I have a few more basic pieces but I don't keep them here because I don't really need to so this makes it easy for me to get dressed. This drawer are my sunglasses where I keep my sunglasses. So you can see I've got a few different styles of sunglasses here and it just depends on what I'm wearing that day. I like these pair because they are very very minimal looking. Let me see if I can pull them out here so you can see them a little bit better. Yeah there they are. So that pair I absolutely love and they look really beautiful with linen outfits. But I've got a few pair of sunglasses and these pouches here I just keep to put my sunglasses in when we are traveling. So that's what that's for. But yeah, these are my sunglasses here. And I don't have a whole lot of those either, but I will be adding a few to my collection. This drawer here, these are all of my exercise clothes, my yoga pants and tops, so I can find them really, really easily. So I have everything that I use to work out in or yoga in that drawer. And this drawer here, these are sort of intimates, but most of those my husband bought as well. And then these are just intimates here. So down in this drawer are all of my winter sweaters. So I can easily find them in the winter time when it's cold and pick out the sweater that I need for the day. And then in the final drawer over here, I have some shorts. And this is where I keep my belts. And then these are my protective coverings for my Teddy Blake handbags. So, so far, that's what I've got in that drawer. 
and I did choose the hardware for these drawers. I think it looks really beautiful. So this is the tour of my closet. And I really love it. It leaves a lot of space in here for me to get dressed. And so I have everything that I need and it's very well organized. So yeah, that's the tour. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour of my designer closet. And if you did, please give this video a like. And also, if you are landing on my channel for the first time and you enjoy videos on leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful, please consider subscribing to the channel. And also, before you leave the video, please hit the like button as that tells me what type of videos you guys enjoy watching. Thanks for watching, ladies, and I'll see you in the next one.